Are you using your gifts that God has given you? How are you using your gifts that He's given you? I recently celebrated a birthday, and I couldn't help but look back. Five years ago, before my birthday, my emotions were in turmoil because I felt like I wasn't using the gift that God had given me to use. I already knew what that gift was, and that was teaching the Word of God, and I wanted to multiply it for Him. I had already been a Sunday school teacher to young adults, and I even was a Sunday school teacher to high school students at the church that I'm going to now. And then I read the parable of the talents, how the master comes to give his servants talents. He gives them something to invest. He gives them something to multiply, to increase. He gave one five. He gave another two. He gave another one according to their ability. To the one he gave five talents to, they were multi- he multiplied them. He doubled them. The same with the two talents. That servant doubled his. But the one that had the one talent, just one talent, he went and hid it. And I didn't want to be that servant. God has done so much for us. Salvation alone, we owe him so much for salvation that we can never repay. But I felt like in using the gifts and talents that he has given me, that I wasn't using them enough to give him glory to bless Him, to bless others. Because when you use your gifts and talents that God has given you, they honor Him, they glorify Him. It's a form of worship to Him. And then what happens is you're blessing other people when you use those gifts. And in turn, you yourself are blessed. And at the end of that parable, Jesus is telling us, He's encouraging us, to use what we have according to the ability that we have. For when we get to heaven, Jesus is going to tell us, well done, good and faithful servant. What are your gifts? How are you using your gifts? Are you called to preach, teach, encourage, sing, organize? What is that gift that you have? Is it a gift of giving gifts? Can you have a gift of giving gifts? I certainly believe it because I have been the receiver of somebody who has given me gifts, who knew exactly what to give me without even me ever saying a word. And the way they packaged it and the way they put little things together in that gift. Do you have a gift of giving gifts? Do you have a gift of singing? The list is endless of the gifts that we have. Encouraging someone else, listening to someone else. Those are gifts. Use them. How can you bless God by using those gifts? And through those gifts, he'll open up opportunities for you. In the book of Proverbs, it tells us that a man's gift will make room for him. In other words, God opens doors and opportunities for you to use your gifts. And there's another scripture that says, don't despise the day of small beginnings. If you have a gift and you don't want to use it because it's not as grand or as big as someone else's, don't worry. Just use it. God starts small and then he'll open up opportunity, opportunity, opportunity for you. I encourage you, use the gifts that you have. Pay attention to when somebody compliments you on something that you have done or something that you do consistently. That may point you into the direction of what your gift is. Because we all want to hear God say, well done, good and faithful servant. Even if it was just a small gift, it meant something big to someone else. Use the giftings that God has given you to bless him, to bless others, to bless yourself so that you can grow in the Lord and influence the world all around you. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Goodbye.